Hi, um, our group is, uh, sorry, th these are all the people in our group and our project was called Soul Nights, so it's uh, a flat shoe for uh, girls on nights out. And uh, there, there were 12 people in our group, as uh, you can see here. So, um, yeah, so uh, this is, we, we kind of think, we kind of went with the theme of uh, Dublin nightlife and uh, social hacking and then we uh, thought that, you know, girls, they think that they look great when they're on nights out and everything, but so they think they look like these guys, but um, they actually look like this. <laughs> so um, we decided to kind of, well, as you can see, all of these girls are wearing high heels and we decided that we would try and uh, fix this problem. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see. So we have, we kind of decided to tackle the greatest enemy, the high heel, and, um, sorry, what is our next picture? Oh yeah, so kind of like picturing the scene, so we decided to put, our, put ourselves into the mindset of one of these girls, so what they see and think and do on a night out, and we decided to kind of uh, manipulate that into a commercial product, so that was it. And uh, from our research, uh, we um, found that it's about 85% of girls wear high heels on a night out and um, about 55 of them have said in the survey that um, they have been injured. So this, this was a problem here. So, um, and then we found uh, this from our use of open data that um, Sunday, Sunday morning, or yeah, well Sundays, uh, is the, the most busy time for alcohol related injuries in hospitals. And, um, well, we found that Wednesday was a very good day. So, you know, <laughs> queues won't be very long. <laughs> and uh, then we decided that a solution would be uh, a good option. So. <laughs> so when we came to think about what our solution would be, the ideal thing is to create a flat shoe that you can carry around with yourself when you're on your night out. So when your feet get sore, when you get to that point where you can't really walk around anymore, you can just change pretty easily. Okay, so and this session. is the design we came up with. It's made of all natural materials so that it can be upcycled and is quite eco-friendly. The bottom is a natural latex sole, which is shock absorbing, flexible. And then the top is uh, organic hemp. We went with hemp because when you look at all sorts of or organic textiles, hemp is, um, it has 10% more material per square meter than any other plant. So it's kind of the best option for us. And if you see in the middle here, there's the pivot joint that's probably the unique selling point of our product because there are some competitors. But if you want to, yeah, sorry, um, there we go. If you want to look at our competitors here, they all have this design where they roll up, and when you roll up, when you, once you like let go of it, rolled up, it unrolls, unravels, and still takes up all the space in your handbag. So our product has the pivot joint in the middle so that it will effectively fold over and stay that way and not take up much space in your handbag. So. Everybody carries these small bags and you will have space for your phone, your money, your keys, anything you want. So it is a bit different than anything that's on the market. And it's also worth saying that none of these shoes are actually available in Ireland. They're only available in the UK and in the US and places like that. <coughs> so from our research we figured out how much it would cost to make these shoes. As you can see here, most of it is actually the raw materials of getting eco-friendly materials. And for selling these shoes, this represents about five euro that we're going to sell the product for. And the top light blue there will be um, a profit we could make off this of about 95 cent per pair of shoes. Uh, as we go forward with this project, um, we plan to launch it at a, an event, something like the Trinity Ball next year, where you have a captive audience in it. There's about 4,000 girls at that night every year. And from our product, we said the research said there was 50% would buy it. So that's 2,000 pairs of shoes we could sell in one night and see how they go. And then from there, we could develop a revenue sharing scheme. Within, we sell them in clubs and pubs. And the, we would sell them ourselves. And the club owners could benefit from it as well, get some profit without doing any work. And that would kind of get us some more research on how well this product would sell. And then we could move on to wholesaling it to the clubs and pubs themselves and then possibly into shops maybe as well, and then move out of Dublin with it. Bring it to Galway, to Cork, other big cities in Ireland, and potentially even to the UK and internationally. Oh, sorry. Is that it? Great. Thank you. Thank you.